What's up guys? You are on the air and off the books with Beth Ann and Samantha and today we are going to be discussing a nostalgic throwback book, Nancy Drew and the Haunted Bridge. Yes. Dun 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 dun. We we actually both read this book last night in like <laughs> two hours. True. And Shocker for me. I literally forgot how golden these books were. It literally is the best word to describe these books. Golden. It's so, it's like, it's so cheesy, but it's like a good cheesy. And I think the only reason why it's cheesy is because literally, like, comparing, like, how they act and, like, their pastimes, like, who they are then versus how, like, kids are now. Mm Mm-hmm. It is night and day difference. Like I know no one who acts like this. Like yeah, and I think I these also, books. I think these books are based in like the seventies, right? Seventies, uh, eighties. I wonder because telegrams and stuff. Yeah, telegrams. 70s. Wait, copyright 1972, 1965, 1937. Whoa. So I, I haven't done research, but it was a little while ago. There were definitely no cell phones, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Because then you get sucked off a bridge into a ravine and you're <laughs> crawling out on the, you know, land. There's nobody to run and grab their cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> so. so this book was about, um, The Haunted Bridge was basically about, um, so Nancy um, and her friends Bess and George joined her dad at um, Deer Creek Resort. It's. Deer, Deer, Deer Mountain, Mountain Resort Hotel. Deer Mountain Hotel. So they went here because her dad is investigating this um, jewelry um, theft thing going on, like yeah, this like theft, theft ring. ring. Yeah, yeah, for jewelry. And so he was like, "Join me, and Nancy, you can help me um, tr- kind of investigate." So basically, um, Nancy goes with her friends, and she ends up doing this like golf um tournament while she's there and of course you know it's nancy drew and she ends up being like the best golfer yeah, there she's pro at everything she does yeah she's barbie side she is so barbie. yeah so basically um she her friends meet this guy his name's martin bartescu 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 i don't know it was bartescu in my head bartescu and they're like super suspicious of him because he he signs his name in different um, handwriting every single time he signs his name. So he's like high on the suspicion list the whole time, and he's like super into Nancy, and she's super yeah. like, no, don't touch me. And for a hot minute, I really thought possibly that the book was just going to be that kind of a book, and yeah, it was him. Yeah. Like, I really thought for a hot minute there he was going to be involved somehow. Maybe not the way that I thought specifically he was involved. Yeah. But I was like, okay, it's going to be, like, easy, whatever. Instead, it pulled out of left field. And I was like, (laughs) I wasn't expecting that. But at the same time, it was good. It was really good. But I liked it because of the nostalgia. Yeah. It was super... (laughs) It's just funny reading it because they're so, like, Nancy's just so, like, positive and nice. And Proper she's, and, like... Yeah. I don't know. And then, I don't know how to explain They're it. like, pin, pin this rose to you Your when you go to the dance. Yeah, and then, like, at the hotel, dancing and, like... I don't know. And they're so proper when they're dating their boyfriends and all of this stuff like that. Like, I feel like kids today are whacked. You know what yeah. I mean? Like... We need to get back to this a little bit. Everybody needs to read a little Nancy Drew. Take yes. a little, take some notes. Stop acting crazy, risky, savage. <laughs> like you need to calm down. Get a little Nancy in you. Like, yes, absolutely. Yes, it, she's definitely Barbie. Yeah, it is definitely a, a tame one of these books. Like not creepy, not scary. Um, there's really nothing I haunted about this, this bridge. <laughs> But I liked that it kind of was, like, broken up, how they figured out what was what about the yeah. bridge. But I, I guess it's believable, but I've never really heard a mountain lion scream, so. Yeah, they, like, uh, they, like, scream cry. 
Looking kind of like a peacock. Tied You'll up, have to baby. look it up. We're going to YouTube mountain YouTube, lions after yeah. this. And then, like, the moaning of the trees rubbing together. Yeah. I didn't know about that either. Yeah, but that was a little, that was a little, little sus. But, like I said, I really, I gave it a 5 out of 5 because yeah. it was Nancy literally, Drew. yeah. You know, this is, you these not? are the books you collected as a kid, and, well, we did. Yeah, and we still <laughs> had might of, play the games, a.k.a. I still might play the yes. games because <laughs> I am 12, actually. But they're just so good, and they're wholesome. Yes. And it's like a, you know, it's like Scooby-Doo minus the meddling kids and the weird dog. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, and it's a little more wholesome than even Scooby-Doo, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was just, it was just really good. It was really good. I really liked it. I love all of those books. I've read, um, literally probably all of them. I've played every single game except for like maybe one, and I'm currently watching the new Nancy Drew show, which is significantly different from the book series. I was about to say it'd have to be to be like part of our like day and age, our society, our culture. Everything's changed so much. It's so it's, drastic the difference. Yeah, like the whole show is basically like paranormal, and yeah. it's definitely a little bit risque. Yeah. Um. It's yeah. But that's just. I don't know. That's just the way TV and everybody is now, I guess. Yeah. There's but Bess and George, but there's no there's no there's Ned, but there's no Bert and Dave. Which is Come sad. On. Ned is dating George. George I yeah. hear. Which is just Cardinal Sid. Yeah, and it's so He's like Nancy's all the way. It just like I don't know. The books just like crack me up because I feel like there's yeah. some stuff in the books that would not like people probably want to like write like nowadays like they always like hint at how Bess is like slightly overweight and that she loves to eat and that she just loves yeah, food which isn't really appropriate <laughs> yeah and like the names that everybody are are very like I don't know how to how to properly politically correct put it they're just definitely from a different era. Like, yeah. her name is Georgina. Like, I don't know many kids nowadays named Georgina. Yeah. They, it might be coming back around. But, yeah. like, you can tell in the names, the way that they eat, like, them calling it brunch. Yeah. And, like, it's I've never a called a brunch in my life. I've never went to brunch in my life. I like, feel like fancy people still talk like that. Like, you know, like the fancy. And you can tell they're well off. Like, they're, they're not. Yeah. They're more on the, you know, wealthy side of town or whatever. But they're, like, 18 years old, and they're so, like, they're so sophisticated. And so adult. Yeah. And that's what also was so funny to me, because, like, when it starts off and it says that they're 18, in my mind, I always read them as being, like, 15 or 16 and never 18. Like, I never pictured... I always pictured them being, like, 25, 26. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, Yeah, I never pictured them being, like, just... A whole bunch of adults running around. I always thought they were a little younger than that. Um, And it's odd to me that she's not, like... I don't know. Just the culture is so, so much different. And her, like, relationship with her father is so respectful. Yeah. And they're, like, friends, but they're, like... I don't know how to explain it. It's just such a culture shock. And I feel like... Because we were talking to Kingery a little bit when we came in about the book. Because he said he tried to read them to his girls before bed. Yeah. and he said that they didn't enjoy it. And I wonder if I was their age. Because I'm not sure how old they are. But if I, I'm assuming, I'm making the assumption that they're maybe like 10 to 14. Yeah. Like if I read these books today as a 10 to 14 year old, how would I feel about them? You know, probably, I mean, because they're still It would super probably popular. be like uninteresting today. Because you're just like, why are they talking like that? And why or are they a like tele- what's, what's a telegram? Yeah. Like, or... You know, like when why aren't she they goes making out the with their cabin. boyfriends? <laughs> right. <laughs> like when they go to the cabin and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I forgot to leave them a note, so they would know to come and eat." Oh well, they missed out. Yeah. Well, today nobody would ever miss out yeah, because like, I would just call on my just cell phone. Them, yeah, and they could just come right over. Like we've, I feel like I forget that we take, you know, we like we take for granted the fact that we have like immediate communication with people. Yeah. Because like, you know. Had like when they dated, they didn't talk twenty four seven. Her and Ned, he shows up random all yeah. the time. Surprise! I'm here. Like, it's Ned, Bert, and Dave. <laughs> it's 
they're here or it's the Hardy like Boys. Like you said, it's every, in the middle of every single book. Yeah. Like, and they just kind of pop up. And, and there they, they just kind of like pair off. It's like Ned and Nancy, Bert and George, Dave and Bess. Yes. <laughs> and their favorite guys, their favorite dates. And they're just like courting. Like courting was a yeah. thing. Like, and it, I feel like at, you know, 10 to 14 nowadays, yeah. you know what courting is. It's just like they're not official, but that's just like, it's like Nancy and Ned are official, but like the rest of them aren't, but that's just their go-to dates. Right. They're just courting. They're just yeah. casually together, but it's not titled. He hasn't pinned her, you know what I mean? Like yeah. back in the day where he would like put the little thing on the lapel or whatever <laughs> and like, like they're not like exclusive to each other but they right. are because he gets butt her all the time about yeah. how she leaves him and how she's more stuck in her mysteries than him and, yeah but at the same time they're also never going to be caught making out a corner ever yeah like you know what i mean Which maybe this right. one, maybe just like a little like kiss on the cheek a little, yeah, little like, hand hold ooh, 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 shady kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I love that. I love it because of that, though. I wish more books were like that. This is my kind of romance. Yeah. <laughs> this is a spicy I like it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick a Nancy Drew up today. <laughs> but the end version of spicy spice. is Nancy Drew. Mine's just like, <laughs> like, I don't know, like some crazy, like, Stockholm he kidnaps syndrome. me and, and I become his. <laughs> And he's mean to me, but I know there's a soft side in there. <laughs> he beat me up today, but maybe tomorrow he'll love me. <laughs> he sauced me and called me a B word at the same time. And it was wonderful. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God. I'm in love with him. <laughs> and I'm like, get away. Same, You're being same abused. Girl, Call same girl, same. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um. no, not, not I. No. I need to, like, go on eBay and just order, like, a bulk... Nancy Drew set. You should. Just for, like, the memory. It makes me wish that I would have kept all of the, like, old copies that I had. Yeah. I had, had all really of, like, the OG old. ones like this. Yeah. The yellow hardbacks. Mm-hmm. I can, like, Same. clearly remember, like, some of the books. Like, there was this one where Nancy, like, got knocked out, which she does in, like, almost every book. Um, <laughs> she probably has, like, some brain damage by now. There's, like, 200 books. Um, she got, like, knocked out, and she got put on this roller coaster, and it's, like, one, you know, that, like, goes upside down and stuff, but, like, the person, the culprit started the roller coaster without, like, locking any of the seats down, so Nancy's, like, having to, like, hold on for dear life on this roller coaster. I'm like, dude, that's, like, legit. Like, I'd be scared. She has the literal most wild life. I know. Like, I want her life. She really is the luckiest person ever. Yeah. I don't know. It's just your classic heroine. It's just your classic heroine. And holy. You know what I mean? Like, just centered around her. Everybody else is a side character. Nobody yes. else has character development. Yes. It's just all strictly about her. It's just, it's just the pinnacle of, you know, this is a heroine. This is what she looks like. All about her. Smartest. Funniest. Can do it all, pro at literally every sport, smartest out of the whole bunch. Everybody glorifies yeah. her. Like, I don't know what else. I don't know what else you could want. She's like yeah. glowing at this point. Like she's. It's perfect. so funny because when I was reading the book, I was like, when every like best scene, I was like, this is like Beth Ann. Because Beth Ann would definitely, like, I'd be like, let's go on this bridge. It's haunted. And she'd be like, no. no. no uh, and I do like to eat. <laughs> I like to eat a lot. And I'm oh chubby. My gosh, no. So you right, girl. <laughs> no. Personality-wise, Bess is 100% Beth Ann. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Because she would be like, yeah, let's go down there and, and figure it out. I'd be like, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Bess didn't say it like that. But, that. but if she was here today, she would. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She'd be like, uh uh-uh, girl, you go down that by yourself. <laughs> you can just give me a ring. I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, mm-mm. Going to the sweet shop. Bye. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. Food sounds so good right now. It does, actually. It sounds great. Yeah. We're going to have some, like, sushi bowls for lunch. Oh, so. my God. I'm so excited. <sighs> yes. So, excited. so you guys need to come to the library, check out all of our Nancy Drew books. And <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> yes. Our Hardy Boy books. Um, Bobsy Twins. Bobsy Twins. I'm pretty sure we have them. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do, too. And I think that we have some on maybe a few on Kindle. Not Kindle. Um, 
Hoopla, Libby, maybe. Overdrive, maybe Hoopla. Possibly. I haven't looked. I just rented this one from the children's section. They're juvenile fiction. Yes. Um, and if you're looking for something that's kind of fast, you know, quick read, fulfilling read, I feel like. Mm-hmm. It's 180 pages, relatively. It took us, like, maybe two hours. Well, it took me definitely two hours. It took her probably less than that because yeah. I'm slow. But if you're slow like me, <laughs> you this need is a to good get book for you. Something. This is a good book for you. And if you love the nostalgia of that, then... And mystery and yeah. not anything too scary. It's not intense. It's not terrifying. You it's can not... definitely read this in, during the night alone. Try it alone. with your kids. See what they yeah. say. And let us read know. it to your kids. Um, yeah, so join us next week. We're going to be talking about the next three books. Books four through seven for Ancient Megas Bride. Yep. And uh, um, we and hope you guys have a great. I think after that we're having we're doing escape room. Yes. So it's gonna go from Nancy cute and Nancy Drew to blood and guts pouring out of an elevator. So yes, is that does that happen? I don't know. You'll have to tune in to find ah! out. <laughs> uh, tune in for part two books. of Beth Ann Rooney. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great rest of your week and join us next week. Bye. Bye.